Does your spatial data contain date fields that you would like to explore on a map? In Map Viewer, you can make a map with time-based data and animate it to see patterns or trends over time. But before you can do that, you must ensure that your data layer is time-enabled. This video will show you how. This is a map of bicycle theft incidents in Ottawa, Canada throughout 2023. The Bike Thefts layer is a hosted feature layer published from a CSV file in your content. The layer contains data collected from 2017 to 2024, but it's been filtered to only show thefts from 2023. It has two date fields representing when the theft was reported and when it occurred. You're interested in tracking when and where the thefts occurred and visualizing any patterns and occurrences over the course of the year. One way to do this is by configuring the Time Slider in Map Viewer. To access the Time Slider options, you must first ensure that the Bike Thefts layer is time enabled. When a map contains a time-enabled layer, the time slider is displayed by default at the bottom of the map. In this map, the time slider is not displayed, which means the bike thefts layer has not yet been time-enabled. You can enable time in the layer by opening its item page, which can be accessed through the layer properties. On the item page, find the time settings section and click Edit. Check the box to enable time in the layer. In the Bike Thefts layer, the time information is recorded as specific events in time, and you want to visualize the thefts based on the occurrence date. Now that you've enabled time on the layer, return to the map and reload it. The time slider is displayed automatically. To customize it for your map, open the time slider options. Now configure the time slider to meet your needs. For example, to visualize 2023 bicycle thefts per quarter, specify the start and end points, and set the length of each interval to 3 months. Play the time animation to visualize your data over time. You can hide and display the slider as needed using the Time button. To learn more about mapping in ArcGIS Online, visit the Map Viewer tutorial series or click the links in the description for more resources.